Hello, I am speaking to Mike Francis Cavallo of The Real Maggie Thatcher. Hello. Hello there. Um, your, sh <laughs> your show is this Friday, the 22nd, at quarter past ten in the evening. What yep. can people expect coming to see it? Well, basically, it's a, very in, 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 it's a very intriguing and interesting piece of theatre, um, a very unusual piece of theatre. It'll be like probably nothing else anyone's ever seen before. I can say that with quite uh, quite good confidence. It's been running for a couple of years um, yeah. on the UK theatre circuit. It's done a number of tours, um, started out in development at a few festivals in summer of 2014 and has run since then, and actually picked up a couple of nominations and UK accolades, which is very nice. Oh, excellent. Fab. Um, it's it's obviously about Maggie Thatcher. Um, how have you sort of created the piece? Where where did you start with that? Yeah, it's more about the impact of Thatcher. Um, it's it's all about sort of Thatcher's children and Thatcher's um, uh, sort of time in power. Mm -hmm. It's it's not it, it's not necessarily based just on um, uh, a single character of 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 being Thatcher at all. It, it's a, it's an experience piece. It's also relatively interactive and engaging. Okay. Uh, you, you get a chance to be a part of it. And the other thing is, of course, um, from a point of view of offence, although it's a very very powerful piece of theatre, it contains no strong language or anything offensive. There's no grave stamping or anything you know, yeah. placed in it. But it's, it is extremely powerful. Okay, excellent. That sounds very good. So you've been, uh, you've had shows elsewhere in the country recently, haven't you? With the yeah. um, sort of current taboo political climate, how have you found people have sort of received the show so far? Extremely well. I mean, um, basically we've got uh, a situation where it goes through a number of things during the entire Thatcher rule. Yeah. So a lot of it is right, there's this reference to Hillsborough, there's things like Section 28 or Clause 28, yeah. things like the EU, which of course was prevalent then, yes. and, uh, and, and, and important things like the mining disputes and things like mm -hmm. Albury, which is back off again now with the, um, with, with, with the sort of justice panel and everything else. Yeah. We, we've, we, 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 we kind of like get reference to that and also um, it's it's a couple of years since her passing and also it's over 30 years now since the end of the strike so there's a little bit sure. of uh, there's a little bit of reference to that as well there's a nice good timing there <laughs> yeah absolutely no, it's, it, it, it's, it's pretty in vogue at the moment obviously with what's been happening with the change of leadership again and it isn't a boring piece of history lesson it absolutely isn't that it's a it's a fully engaging interactive theatre piece and it's uh, it's it, it, it's pretty well described in a number of reviews that we've had if you go onto the website so you'll yeah. see the link to the reviews. There's quite a few reviews there. And they're all pretty reflective of, of what it does. And, it, and it, basically, there'll be a very, very short, because it's a late late show, and uh, yeah. there'll be a very, very short Q&A where people can ask a couple of questions at the end. Oh, but good. it will be the final UK performance of the piece. We won't yeah. be running it again. Uh, we've done a couple of years with it. It's done really well. It's time to move on to something else. This is the last UK performance that ah. there'll be. OK, so hopefully we'll go out with a nice bang. <laughs> Absolutely. And Absolutely. If, if people well, wanted to read those reviews, what is your website for people to have? The website is, um, I mean, you can access them through another thing just by Googling uh, real, uh, Meet the Real Maggie Thatcher. If you Google Meet the Real Maggie Thatcher, you'll turn them up. But the actual website we run is breatheein.co.uk, and breathe is an unusual spelling. It's B-R-E-A-T-H, and then there's an E by N. Yeah. Breathe in with an E in the middle, .co.uk. If you go into breathein.co.uk, Look up Maggie Thatcher, meet the real Maggie Thatcher. Excellent. That's the play. As I say, it starts at 10.15 on, on Friday, which is um, actually tomorrow now, Friday the 22nd. Yep. And um, I think it's 6.50 and 7.50, 6.50 concession, 7.50 full price yes. for the tickets. Cool. It's, so in the studio. it's in the studio space. So it's be in nice the studio space. Yeah, yeah nice yeah. and intimate. It's lovely, 40-seater uh, thing. Um, so you've obviously taken this around the country and elsewhere. What uh, brought you to Bed Fringe? What well, the Bread Fringe? Uh, basically, um, largely reputation, I think, more than anything else. I know the mm. festival's been going a few years, mm. and um, I contacted a couple of people when we, we knew we were doing a summer run. We didn't kind of just want to make it theatre festivals. We were going to yeah. do a couple of uh, studio spaces in Wales and um, up north mm -hmm. and everywhere. We're based in Liverpool, and uh, we did a Liverpool show at the end of last year in the uh, small cinema space. And um, I was interested in, 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 in doing another sort of festival, and I looked at the information for Bed Fringe. I then contacted James, who's the festival organiser, yeah. and I got a pretty good feeling about it. We kind of hit it off, and I'm inspired by what they're doing there. And I thought, well, this is geographically just fine. I have some family that are not too far away, yeah. although I'm based in Liverpool. I've got some family. 
it not too far away in good old Milton Keynes. Oh, so excellent. We'll get, we get some people over to, to see it from there as well. And, nice. and it's just nice, you know, to have a nice central central base to do it, really. Yeah, I'm pleased. Um, I'm, am I right in thinking that you also run some kind of uh, festival up in Manchester, is that right? Yeah, no, uh, the confusion there is I'm basically uh, being returned as creative director again for next year, which is 2017, of what's called the Manchester Biennial. Oh, now, that's nice. the independent arts festival mm -hmm. that runs just before the international. They have an independent arts and roots and blues and everything festival that runs just before the Manchester Biennial, uh, the, the, the sort of international festival there. Um, so we're the biennial, they're the international, we run just before it. And I've been returned as creative director. But I have no link other than that. There's no commercial link with that. It's just my my little remit for the summer next year. I do it every two years on the biennial yeah. and next year's year. Exciting. So I know how difficult it is for you guys to put all this <laughs> on. I know, I know what James and yourself go through and I know exactly what happens. And uh, it is, everyone thinks, oh, it's a little bit of a festival, we'll have a bit of a laugh. No, it's hard work, you know. Yeah. There's a lot to be behind the scenes, really. I know that very well. <laughs> it's definitely not easy, that's for sure. But it's lots of fun, so that's good. Absolutely, it needs to be, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fab. Right, well, your show is tomorrow now, yep, Friday the 22nd yep. at quarter yep. past ten in the evening, and we look forward to seeing you then. I look forward to it very much. I, um, I've got good, good feelings about it, and uh, so it's starting to book up now, so we're, uh, yeah. we're, we're putting everything together, and uh, I look forward to seeing everybody then, and hopefully they can give some feedback at the end and uh, enjoy themselves. Yes, thank you very much for speaking to us today. Thanks a lot. All, right. All the best. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.